hello guys and welcome in this new video in the game engine series hope you guys are doing good by the way merry christmas um yeah just want to say that even though it's late but yeah now in today's video i'm gonna kind of give you a quick update about what the game engine has now as features and i'm also want to be talking about um what i'm facing right now as problems as limitation for this game engine and uh, maybe you guys can still give me your ideas now the reason why I'm doing this is because I have seen that you guys actually help a lot. In a previous video I uploaded, I was talking about the fact that I couldn't find a library for the gizmo that could fit to my engine. And some of you guys wrote a comment say, uh, telling me that I'm, I'm gizmo will be a good solution for that. And I tried it and as you can see I have a gizmo and I am able to actually you know move a lot of things here with my gizmo and uh, yeah just want to say thank for you guys for your feedbacks and you know what you're doing it really really helps so and uh, yeah that's the first thing i wanted to talk about the gizmo i'm now able to you know do more than just having to drag here to move things now i'm able to actually move them here and that's something i really like you know, the next thing I, I want to talk about here is uh, the model loading, what I've added. Here, I'm now able to actually set the texture at runtime. So I can pick the texture for, let's say, for example, I want to change the texture of this material of this one here. Then I can simply go here and pick like, let's say I pick this one. You see, this is an empty texture. It has nothing in it. So if I take something else, let's say I take the normal, you see, I'm using like the normal uh, map as the diffuse map or the albedo map so to say and as you can see it's working at runtime I don't have to kind of close the program and run it again so I'm still kind of trying to customize this UI because there is a lot going on here you can see we have the same thing for the normal map see the normal map also is working so if I take this guy back up here put the diffuse and I take the normal map here you see the difference if I remove this you see the difference there's something happening when I add a normal map it, it responds more to light with the normal map than when uh, we don't have anything so yeah and as you can see here this model here has I don't know over 60 meshes so um, yeah I can actually move things around you know I can change this model as I want move things around and you know break this down now the reason why I made it like this is because you will often have some model with different uh, parts and you want to be able to actually set a separate material for each part to have a different result instead of having just one material that has one texture and then you know everyone actually uses that texture but in this case here you want to be able to customize each part of the model to have a different result see and that's the reason why I'm doing it like this as you can see here and so one problem with this method is that for each mesh of this model you need to set the material uh, on the shader and draw it so if your model has over thousand meshes then you're gonna have thousand draw cores and that's one of the problem I'm facing right now. You can see my frame rate is quite low because this model has a lot of meshes. Now I'm actually working on building a patch renderer, which is something I think it's really hard, often easy, depending on what you want to do, but building it inside of a game engine, it's not easy. I could simply do it for a simple task where I have one model and for that specific model, I create a batch. That would be easy. but building something that will work for all the model i'll be loading on my scene it's quite hard so just want to shout out if you guys have something that could help it's really welcome i really want to know how i can do this easily so there is a lot more um to this engine that i've added uh, i've changed the ui as you can see the transform component looks better um i get inspired by the channel because uh I, I think the transform component he had was better than mine so I changed to what he has done and um, yeah that's basically uh, what I wanted to show I I haven't talked about the code yet there's a lot 
of things I have to talk about. I don't know, uploading videos is a little bit hard these last few days, but I'm gonna be trying to do more than just uploading one video a month or, you know, it, or each two weeks. So that's basically what I wanted to show guys. Um, if you have good ideas, if you wanna share your thought with me, please write me in the comment section below. And I also wanna mention that there is a version of this uh, game engine to download on my Patreon page. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you guys can go on my Patreon page and, you know, get all information about that. You can download that, that source code and use that as a start point. So, thank you for watching and ciao.